Gary Dean Christian was my husband since 1976, and together we built Jerry Christian Auto Repair at 303 Perry Street, right here in Marlin, Texas. Jerry Christian Automotive got started in 1976 when Jerry and I married. Jerry was working for the Marlin uh, Fire Department and working one day and off two days, and he was running the shop the two days he was off, and it gradually got where we couldn't stay up with everything, so he retired from the City of Marlin Fire Department, and we started working full-time, and Larry quit his job at the fire station and came with Jerry and started working side by side with Jerry. And then in 1977, Christopher was born and Christopher started helping his daddy from the time he was about two years old because Jerry would buy some old salvage cars and Christopher would take them apart and learn the size of the screws and all that stuff by taking the cars apart. And we just started going from there, and we had a little bitty shop that was just a little one-bay shop that we worked in for many years, and then we bought, built half of the shop that we have now and paid for that, and then we ended up building the other half of the shop, the taller part, so that we could get the bigger trucks in. I worked at the Gibson's discount on Fortune Street, and Jerry was working at the fire station, and that's how we first met. But I had known Jerry for years and years because my mother was actually his Sunday school teacher at McClanahan Baptist Church in Marlin, Texas, in the little community of McClanahan. And that's where we first started dating is from, he would come over to the Gibson store and talk and, and then he asked me out and that's how we met and we went together for probably three years before we actually married. My late husband, Jerry, and he was the best father of anyone that could ever be. He only had one son, but he made sure that he had everything. He was a workaholic. He loved to work on people's cars. He was open on Saturdays and Sundays. If someone broke down and needed help, he was right there to put a fan belt on or anything that might happen. He bought Christopher a Harley Davidson golf cart so that he could drive the customers to their cars when we were working on them, he would drive around in the lot when he was about seven, eight years old, and he would drive the customers to their car and pick them up and bring them back and different things like that. And he always made sure that Christopher had everything he wanted. When Jerry was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, we had been married 20 years, May the 21st, 1976, and we had our 20th anniversary at our office at the shop and it was a surprise to both of us, and he passed away on July the 23rd. We had over 100 people that came through for that 20th anniversary that we had in the office in the shop, and it was hot, but people kept coming, and it was put on by Laura Rochelle, Francis Marjota, and my mother, and they had all kinds of food, and people came, and he visited, and he was able to stay out here the whole time we had it. After Jerry's passing, what motivated me is because of the good customers that I had and I knew that they wanted me to help them because the whole time Jerry was sick, they would bring their cars and they would park them and leave a note on them when we could get to it, do this or that, and we were able to keep up with what needed to be done because Christopher would come from TSTC and he would help Larry and they would be able to get the cars out and that's what kept me motivated and plus the faith in God that I knew that he was going to help me and he was going to help all three of us and that we were going to make it. And now it's been 18 years and we're still going. My knowledge of working on the cars and trying to figure out what might be came from Jerry from when we were working together because we worked side by side for so many years. And to this day, someone can come in and I can go out there and I'll tell them it looks like the water pump is what's making the noise or, or leaking. And then the two guys will go out and they'll say, and the man will say, well, she's already told us it was the water pump from when we drove up. But the thing that I think is, is because right to this day, if we're having a big problem in the shop and we can't figure something out, you can talk to Jerry and Jerry will tell us what to do. Well, the shop has changed since we first got started a tremendous amount because of the technology that you have to go to the schools to learn all the different things that you have to be able to work on the cars. And we do have a snap-on computer that we can put on the cars and find out what the problem is from the check engine light or whatever it might be. 
whether or not we're able to do it, we will try to if we can. Providing the quality service for my customers is my number one goal in life. And I have been sick for the last two years, and I plan on keeping it going as long as I can, as long as I have Christopher to help me, him and Larry both. And like I said before, we just want to treat the people like we want to be treated when we break down somewhere. I think the people choose Jerry Christian because the ones that we take care of, they know that we're going to do the best job that we can, and they know that they're going to get what they're paying for, and they're not going to get a used part put on and get charged for a new part and whatever might be the problem, you know. If we can't fix it, we'll tell them that we need to take them somewhere else or refer them somewhere if we don't have the knowledge to do it or that if we are not able to do it. Because we do not do a lot of the big jobs that we did when Jerry was alive because we don't have the manpower to do it. And we have the record that we may be running two or three long calls on in a day's time. My name is Christopher Christian. I'm an employee here at Jerry Christian Automotive. I've been employed here since 1997 after I graduated from TSTC in Waco in automotive profession. Experience here at Jerry Christian Automotive has been great. I mean, we do a lot of different things here. We, uh, we do everything from oil changes to brake work, working on general automotive repair stuff. And we, like I said, we run the record service, but it's always been great working here at Jerry Christian's. I've been here since 97, like I said, and it's never a dull moment here. Things change from one minute to the next, and you never know what to expect, but overall, it's a, it's a real great place to work. I started working on cars at an early age, probably around five or six years old. My dad would buy old cars and I would take them apart and put them back together sometimes and he would have to help me and show me what was going on, but you know, and that continued all through my high school years and you know, like I said, I went to TSTC after that and just been continuing ever since, but you know, I've been around cars ever since I could walk and talk in one way or the other because you know, he's always had a shop since. I was born, he was already in business, so. Working with my dad was great, like I said, I mean, if I needed help, he would always help me and he would show me how to do things. And, you know, we worked on a lot of stuff together, a lot of projects throughout the years. And, you know, he was a Boy Scout master when I was in school and I was in the Boy Scouts for age like eight all the way to about 15 years old. So, I mean, we did a lot of things together, a lot of camping, a lot of outdoors activities. And like I said, we worked on a lot of cars together and. Throughout high school, I had a couple of old cars, and a 70 Chevelle and a 81 Blazer, and I was always tearing something up on those, and he was helping me fix it on the weekends and his spare time and stuff. And my dad played a big role in my life. Like I said, I'm the only child, so I mean, we had a lot of time to spend together, so. And I spent all the summers here, and you know, working on cars with him ever since I was five years old, like I said, so I can remember, you know, everything. I mean, we were together non-stop you know so when I was about five years old he bought me a golf cart and he fixed it up and it was a Harley Davidson gas powered and I would drive the customers around from the shop to the parking lot so they could pick their cars up and I was five or six years old when I started doing that and I guess that's how I learned how to drive I guess you could say and another thing that I remember that when my dad got sick with cancer and was you know towards the end he had went on a record run up in Waco and I uh, I had went with him and he was so sick they didn't feel like he could drive back so I drove the wrecker back pulling the car and that was the first time I'd ever drove a standard shift wrecker and it happened to be raining that day and you know you're 18 years old coming back in a wrecker not even knowing how to drive a standard shift but you know it was trial and error he said you got to learn some way so it was trial by fire and you know I made it through it so after that it's been towing ever since. When we first started out, my dad had a, just a one bay shop. That's, we still have the slab over there on the side of the building where it was, but it was nothing more than just a garage that he poured the slab with his own hands and built the frame himself. And he'd work on cars underneath the shade tree next to it. And uh, I mean, nowadays we have a four bay shop and hydraulic lifts and everything. And he didn't have any of that back when he started out. And he barely had you know electricity and an air compressor. And we have a lot of different tools, a lot of scanners. A lot of computerized equipment that we use nowadays that none of that was even thought of back then. My dad Jerry, he passed away when I was 19 years old and I was halfway through TSTC at the time, so he never got to see me graduate, but you know, he did get to see me walk across the stage at high school and he knew I did start at TSTC and he knew I would finish since I started because he always taught me to finish what you start. So when I was in TSTC, the, the day my dad passed away, the day of his funeral was the day I had to take finals and 
I went ahead and took those finals so I could graduate on time and walk across the stage. My dad has great influence over me being a mechanic. Like I said, you know, that's all I really know how to do because I've worked side by side with him from day one. So we were always working on something. So yeah, it was a big influence. Training I have includes, you know, we, I took a lot of automotive classes in high school, of course. Then I graduated from TSTC, a two year degree in automotive technology. Then since then, we've had various schools that we've went to with Snap-on for scanner use and stuff like that, air conditioning classes that we've been to, brake classes, GM certification classes, numerous tow classes that we've been to. We're state certified in 2007, the state mandated everybody that drives a wrecker in Texas has to get a tow license, which myself and my co-worker got. And I mean, various awards from AAA that we've got over the years too. So the wreckers that we have nowadays are state of the art. We have three wreckers. Um, one of them is just a conventional wheel lift record that has twin winches for pulling people out of ditches and mud and stuff like that. And then we have two flat beds that are super nice. And one of them has a side puller on it so you can pull from the side to where you don't have to block the traffic. And the DPS doesn't have to wait on somebody to block traffic for an hour while you're trying to clear a wreck. And the Highway Patrol really likes that because they can keep traffic moving out on six because traffic on six sometimes can be a pain. So. Some of the technology that we have includes, you know, snap-on scanner to scan the cars with nowadays. Everything's computerized, so you have to have that nowadays. And, and a lot of the technology we use, it's, you know, it's high-tech. It's uh, fluke meters and stuff like that, tracing wires and running shorts down, stuff like that. So, yeah, my dad had a great influence in my life, and he always wanted us to, you know, keep the shop open. So, you know, like I said, my mom owns it, and I help her, you know, run it here. And, uh, we're going to keep the shop open and going strong just like we always have and keep providing the same quality work at the same great price that we always have throughout the years. And You know, that's real important to him. Customer service was number one, so we try to continue that. My dad's motto when he ran the shop was, you know, always put the people first and try to help them out as much as you can. And, uh, you know, he was a fireman for 20 plus years, so, you know, that's about putting people first. So, and uh, he just wanted to make sure that, you know, you always treat people like you want to be treated and do quality work and do it right the first time. Don't make people come back and all that stuff and make sure that you treat the people right like you would want to be treated. So. Here at Jerry Christian Automotive, you know, we take great pride in taking care of our customers' cars as well as our shop. You know, we try to keep our shop nice and neat and clean and organized. If something gets spilled, we clean it up immediately. And every Friday we give it a thorough clean and we mop the floors and blow it all out and all that. So, and also, you know, customer care doesn't stop there. I mean, we take care of the people's cars while they're here. I mean, if it's overnight, we try to store it inside. Our parking lot is very secure. We have lights everywhere, and we have a burglar alarm for our customers' vehicles and stuff like that. My name is Larry Jackson, and I've been working at Jerry Christian Automotive for 33 years. Well, my experience here has been really good. Um, everything we do around here, uh, you know, uh, is great because we have leadership that is great and Connie and Chris they uh, you know they do a great job of taking care of this business around here. Jerry I had known Jerry for a long time uh, when I started working at the fire department uh, that's when I really became uh, real good friends with Jerry and uh, through his past I knew all of his sisters well I knew most of his sisters and everything but after I got acquainted with him I knew all of his sisters and everything but uh, we worked at the fire department together for a pretty good while we finally worked on the same shift and that's when uh, we came around to working together here at the shop. Uh, the shop evolved from a small uh, little, like a garage type thing to the shop that it is today. And uh, today we have uh, uh, four stalls, uh, accommodate just about anything. And we have lifts and uh, jacks and stands and stuff like that to take care of the business. Jerry, Jerry was always ready to greet somebody at the front. I mean, uh, it, it didn't matter who it was. He was ready to get out there and, and, and greet that person and, and make sure that he knew and, and what they wanted and uh, whether or not we could provide that service for them. Losing somebody that's been here for a while, you know, uh, taking care of business, it's always a great loss. Uh, you know, Jerry was a real good guy, like I said, and he, he, he helped everybody and helped us. And as I said before, Jerry always was there to greet people, you know, to, to see what they wanted. And the similarities are there with Chris and Connie. Uh, Connie won't hardly let you get inside the building before she's outside, you know, asking you what you need to, to, what needs to be done or what kind of a problem do you have or, 
you know, and Christopher's the same way. The, that's the reason why the shop is, is run the way it is, is because they took over when Jerry, you know, passed away. The shop has evolved greatly as far as technology because when we first started, uh, there were just meters, things like that, that, I mean, they only did certain functions. Uh, we had basic stuff as it grew, uh, but when it really took off, uh, we had to really update our, our, our equipment so that it would accommodate the newer cars. and. Uh, Things like that are still going on. We still have to update all our functions, and uh, sometimes we even have to buy new equipment to uh, provide that service to our customers. We would like to thank all of our loyal customers that's traded with us for the last 33 years and been part of this Jerry Christian Automotive because without them, we would not be here. And also, I wanted to have my little dog, Lucky, on camera because she is the greeter and she greets everyone when they come to the shop. Thank you.